overdrafting and a drain on energy. For too long, bad housing has been affecting homeowners' health and their pockets. But there is an alternative. And this is it. It's called a Now Home. It's been made using building products and materials that are widely available. The difference is they've been put together with one ultimate aim in mind, and that's to make this home warmer, healthier, and more energy efficient. Now that's all very easy to say, but here it's actually been proven because this has been a live research project with real people living in it for the last couple of years. Meet Joe and Haley Blair. They came to live here with their two young children. The day that we moved, we had all the heaters running in the old place because the kids were still young and trying to get them in. And um, yeah, we got here, put the heaters in a cupboard and never saw them again. So. The hypothesis or the aim of the project was that with current technology, we could design and build homes that used 30% less energy and 40% less water than an average home in this locality, so in, in this case in West Auckland. How did you actually do this research? The, the house was designed specifically for the site and in designing and building the house all the electrical circuits and all the water circuits have been monitored and all the data collected and used for research. So monitoring using equipment like this? Yes, um, in every room there is a temperature and a humidity sensor. Each circuit within the house is monitored where appliances might be plugged into it. And then the water heating, the major circuits like the water heating, the appliances that are permanently plugged in, um, that data is monitored on a daily basis. So, did it work? Well, we'll get to that later. But first, a look at how they hoped these improvements would be made. And first stop, the living area. concrete floors to soak up the heat of the sun. Much more insulation than average houses, in fact, higher than building code requirements. And double glazing to keep the heat in. Um, compared to other houses we've lived in, it's so much warmer here. Real savings, first and foremost, in space heating. The house has no additional heating whatsoever. The heat comes from the floor, absorbed during the day from the sun and re-radiated at night. So it's got big eaves on the house so that shaded from the summer sun and in the winter when the sun is at the lower aspect, the floor absorbs the heat, re-radiates it at night. As well as keeping the living area warm, the bedrooms were kept at above 16 degrees. So how does that compare with average housing in New Zealand? Depending upon where you are in the country, um, somewhere between sort of 6 degrees and 13 degrees. And I think you'll find in student flats in Dunedin it's warmer in the fridge than it is in the house. As you come from the living room, you'll notice there are no actual hallways. Instead, what they've done is widened the area to make another room. So this way, there's no wasted space, no wasted heating, and you get more flexibility. You could use this as a second lounge, a kid's playroom, or an office. Savings are also made in the bathrooms. No more flushing your hard-earned wages down the drain. The features they've got, low flow, taps and showers, dual flush toilet. How much of an impact did they have? A considerable impact in reducing the water that's used in the house. And outside the house you'll see there's a rainwater tank. And those features have meant that the house uses about half the amount of water than an average house users in Auckland? Um, with regards to water having, we had um, town and um, tank supply and it was fantastic being able to switch between them two and they'd go long periods where we didn't need to use the main supplies um, but it was just fantastic, we used the tank water a lot. Now to make sure that the water quality stays good there's a tank back system so if this overflows it will siphon off any of the dirty water at the bottom making sure that you don't waste any of the clean water at the top. Another feature seen from the outside is the solar panel heating system. How does that go? Depending upon the season, save between 50 and 70 percent of the, the average energy that's used to heat water. Very economical solution. Back inside, and a mention has to be made of the room that for most people just eats up energy every day. 
Now, in the kitchen, there are some important features too. They've got efficient appliances, such as this fridge freezer and the dishwasher, which can save a lot on energy bills. Also to have good ventilation. This removes the cooking fumes and so it improves the air quality throughout the whole house. Now, another good feature they've got here is a solar tube up in the ceiling. This creates a really bright room using sunlight from the outside, so no electricity required. The, um, the great thing about the solar tube is by about 6.30 in the morning we had enough light in there that we didn't need to turn the lights on and um, even when it was overcast we would still go most of the day without having to turn the lights on. Um, the kids thought it was great. It's like this magic light in the middle of the, the kitchen. So. The practical changes made in the now home saved the Blairs money and it improved their children's health. We found the kids weren't quite as asthmatic as they used to be. Um, and their confidence levels, it was just huge. Our first week here, they were waving to people walking past, which was unusual for them, and inviting some people in. So their social aspects improved drastically. And it could do a huge amount of good for New Zealand. The, the benefit for the nation would be enormous. If all our houses were built like this and we retrofitted our existing homes to a similar standard, we'd save enough energy to power housing for another 500,000 people. And that is realistic. That's realistic. Now it's time to share the information and get builders and developers to take it on board. We definitely recommend Now Homes because they're just fantastic to live in and we'd love to build one ourselves one day.